You literally make vlogs with them, my guy. Uh, it's, it's nice, man. It's nice. Good YouTube family. It's your boy Bobby back again. You know your boy Bobby always in the mix. Oh, wait, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bobby bad. in the mix, right? <laughs> it's too early, bro. It's too early. You got your boy Z always in the mix, man. Uh, and as you guys can see, we're going to be working on the Lasab again. Yeah. We're just going to be trying to... Um, Bring the pain back to life a little bit. Uh, Z, you know, he's he's well experienced with stuff like this, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see what Z does. I'll have him explain everything that he's doing step by step, and then we'll do like a little montage like we did last time, and uh, we'll just see how it turns out. It's a little brick titties right now, so um, it's a gonna... solid 38 degrees outside. Yeah. <laughs> we decided... like five away from freezing yeah. water temperature. <laughs> we decided to wait for the coldest weather to do this. Uh, so huge shout out to Z for always coming in clutch, man. You know. He'll be in the description. Be sure to go check his page out. Right. A regular wash. Uh, we don't really necessarily have to be too careful washing it. Of course, you don't want to make the paint worse than it is. Uh, so we're gonna start out. I don't have right now in stock uh, like a wash that can remove wax and sealants because I ran out of it. So I'm just gonna use something that I have like the Mr. Pink from Chemical Guys, which doesn't have too many. Uh, fillers and uh, sealants and waxes inside of it so it'll leave it to a semi you know decent finish after that um, we're gonna go with the two bucket method and just wash it off because you don't have to be too careful um, then we're gonna go clay bar it and then from there we'll see we'll judge where we want to go because it is an old car um, if we go too aggressive with uh, compounding and polishing we might start breaking through the clear coat, uh, these older, especially GM cars, they don't have too much clear coat on it, and as you can see, it's kind of hazy and clear coats coming off in certain places. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go too much. The next thing you make it worse than it is. Yeah, true. So true. right now, we're just gonna like gauge where we can go. Uh, just gonna start it off. Right All right, let's do. <laughs> What it does, if you don't know already, is it removes any and all surface contaminants besides iron. Uh, there's special sprays which I have, which we can spray on and rail dust and iron and brake dust will break off. But this will pick up almost anything off of any surface. It can also peel up clear coat and um, paint if you're not careful. So the way you be careful is you use a medium for it to glide upon. So you can use water. That's a common one. I don't like water because it dries up quickly. Uh, with that, when you're going back and forward, you don't want the medium to dry up too quickly because if you're going back and forward and it dries up, you start having marring because there's no more liquid for the clay to glide on anymore. So I like to use MacGyver's uh, final inspection. It's really good for removing like really caked on compound and it doesn't want to come off. Uh, but it's also the other use 
a lot of people don't know it for is as a clay lube. It's really cheap. This whole bottle is like 20 bucks or something, but it works fine. And this is what we're gonna do now. Facts. It smells like fucking yogurt, yo. That's that dank, boy. It smells like yogurt. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, dude, this smells mad good. It smells like that fucking, you know, the, the gogurt? <laughs> oh, the little, uh. The fucking tubes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snigger. Shit, rolling? Yeah, boy. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, just for Bobby today, I'm gonna try a new product. Uh, fast Correcting Cream by uh, Griot's. It's Boss Fast Correcting. Boss. I never tried it, so we're gonna see. I heard that nice. it's, it's really good. Meaning that um, you can, like, a, they call it one step correct a, uh, a panel. So traditionally, traditionally, you would go with a uh, cutting compound, which is aggressive, so has a lot of, like, uh, abrasive material in it. Then you would move on to a polish to refine that even more. But this one is promising that you can one step it basically. Not promising, but I, that's what I've seen online. So we're gonna see. Also, usually you want to do this inside, but for demonstration purposes and the fact that this car is actually, you know, not show car, uh, we're gonna do it outside. You don't want things to land in the paint, especially. But this way we can also gauge from natural sunlight how much is uh, coming off. Our So you got your the wax pad. This is from Maguire's. It, Maguire's. It comes with a, a wax kit you can get as well. But the pad, it's really soft. You want to use a soft pad for this because if it's uh, aggressive, you're like you're not supposed to be eating into the paint. You're supposed to be just putting the pad wax on top of it. So it's mad easy. It's really liquidy. But uh, this wax, basically, you just spread it on, real thin like. Looks like Bobby's non-existent sperm. Oh, um, oh, sir. Uh, <laughs> but then all you do is you put it on low setting. This will only work with low setting because if you start like really getting it in there, then what's the point? Um, you get it on there, real nice and thin. You let it haze up. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, it's gonna haze up, and then after that, you can just buff it off. Uh, like with the microfiber towel. That's about it. It's not much to it. And it leaves your car nice and smooth and shiny for a while. A lot so the car initially looked like it was really bad but most of it honestly was that it was just oxidation because the car was sitting for a while so with the the, the the fast correcting compound I was able to take the oxidation off bring back depth and the clarity um, I got most of the spider rubs out of the paint not all of them there's still quite a few you know defects in there but then again we're just getting this car ready to get sold we don't really need it to, uh, you know. It ain't be winning any shows. Yeah, it's not winning yeah, exactly. any shows. We're not putting rims on. Yeah, it. <laughs> we're, gonna put, we're not putting 22 donks on there or something. Uh, but yeah, we're just getting it ready to be sold. And honestly, it's done. Uh, the liquid wax went on really nice. Just buffed it on, and uh, Bobby came through and like we did the wipe wipe. So. All right, man. Peace. So what are you about to do? I'm just gonna install these cannons real quick. We're gonna go find some pirates. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Where'd you wanna put them on the racks? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> 